so, um, well, as you can see, I'm already uh, out in space. I have just survived, and I mean just survived, a uh, rather uh, tough battle against an elite uh, anaconda who was using fucking heat sinks and shield cell banks like nobody's business. Uh, but I did survive it. Just the reason why he came after me is because that is in my cargo hold. So, yeah, I knew that it was going to be a bit of a cunt, but I didn't think it was going to be that much of one. So, uh, my next uh, destination is Tashita Sector CL-Y D127. Uh, so, here we go. the sector CL-YD127 and the reason why this is so significant is this is the 10,000th system I have visited I'll take a screenshot of that for posterity so um, I seem to have lost my uh, route to uh, Cuck. That is my destination anyway. Uh, I'm not liking the uh, nigh on twelve and a half thousand uh, light second journey. Oh, fucking... to uh, get there. But needs must I suppose. So five jumps then to uh, get there, but uh, yes, the major uh, uh, milestone, well, it's a major milestone for me anyway, is 10,000 systems visited. You may have noticed that my balance has gone down below 300 million again. That's because I've done a fair bit of mining. I had to buy all of the uh, mining gear again. But I didn't sell it, I put it in the storage. So, although I'm back with the same loadout that I had in the last video, uh, the mining equipment is all in storage there, ready to use again. So you can see that my profit from mining has now gone to just over 16 million <coughs> and I've refined 1,390 materials uh, or minerals rather and I've collected 2,046 materials. Obviously I mine far more than this but um, I need 10 pay night for the uh, uh, engineer in Cuck. And I've seen plenty of Grade 2 and Grade 3 uh, Engineer mods that require either Osmium or Platinum or Praesodymium So I kept uh, those I've also seen, none, uh, seen some that need Samarium uh, But I didn't have a huge amount of that, I only had about uh, 15 of it So I thought, fuck it, I'll sell the lot Uh, 
hopefully that's Anaconda that was a real bastard. It also launched a uh, uh, fighter. In fact, I should have done that with mine and used my fighter to take out his one. Oh well. But anyway, uh, hopefully that is uh, the last one I will encounter until I at least reach Cuck. Preferably, that will be it for good. Yes, I've already been to this system. Let's put tips in the systems and hopefully they'll charge a little bit quicker. I don't think it does make any difference, it's just the shield strength, but not the shield recharge rate. Right? Fuel scoop disengaged. I think my shield recharge rate isn't terrible. Uh, it was worse than this when I had the uh, grade 2 reinforced shields. So, with the grade 4, I do have a better recharge rate. Four, it's still not fantastic two, though. One, system, whatever it's called, I can't remember, is uh, system 10,001. Fuel scooping. There may even be some planets worth scanning here. Yeah, I think I'll, well, I'll scan the first two anyway. I'm not going all the way to the last one. system that's visited, it would be probably 15,000 visited. I can't see me doing that at all, let alone doing it any time in the next, well, year or so, unless I do another long range uh, exploration trip. And seeing as I don't need to do those, I highly doubt I will. Okay, this one's over two and a half thousand, can't be asked. I'll just scan the first planet. How many systems left now? Three, three jumps to uh charging. The thing is I'm now out of uh heat sinks and shield cell banks, so if I do get another uh, um, really anaconda attacking me, he better not have fucking chaff. So that was another thing that made that battle go on way longer than it should have done, he kept using chaff all the fucking time. Here. I was 
first two planets are certainly pretty close, but the, the rest aren't. So I'll have a look and see if they're worth doing. Fuel scooping complete. It doesn't look like they will be. There's far too many of them way out. That's a potential class two, but it's over 2,700 away. And yeah, they're, they're all just way too far. I can't be bothered. Okay, Ross 991, first one for a while, but uh, doesn't need scanning. And the next stop after that is Tuck itself, so I don't need my uh, Discovery scanner anymore. Frameshift drive charging. The system where I was attacked by the anaconda was, uh, was so I got fuck all for it. But I should have a decent amount of uh, exploration data to sell. Here and then the next stop is the wonderfully named Cuck system. And then I've got a long old uh, super cruise trip in there to the fucking docking station. I think it's about 12 and a half or 13 and a half thousand light seconds. Oh joy. So, drive something tells me I won't be visiting this uh, engineer very often. Oh, except she does fucking armour upgrades which I want. So I will be visiting this one. Three, two, one, engage. Oh, I thought the one in Sirius was bad enough. systems is that then? 10,003. I reckon my shields will be nearly fully charged by the time I get there. Because not only is this uh, docking station the closest one to me when I arrive in this system, but uh, it's orbiting a twin planet system like Pluto and Charon. 
on the Earth and the Moon for that matter. And uh, the engineer is on the other planet, so it won't be a long trip to get from this docking station to uh, that uh, engineer. I'm not going to bother checking out any uh, signal sources. selling any cargo here, basically I'm just selling my uh, exploration data and sorting out my ship integrity as well as uh, restocking on shield cell banks and heat sinks. the uh, planet that the uh, mod, or the mod, the uh, engineer is on. Looks like he's going to power into the back of it. Cosanamics, Lima, Uniform, Kilo. You're through to start on flight operations department. Please comply with the nation protocols. Yes, Thank you. 
meters from touchdown. Well, what do you need to tell you that? You can see how far you are. All that, and it's only 57,500. The most valuable system is too close. And of course, I won't get 57,500 because uh, my uh, uh, pilot of the. Um, uh, yeah, the fighter will get her cut as well. Let's just check, I don't think I have anything there, no. Right, let's uh, head straight to the um, engineer then. I've come a long way for what's in your hold and all that shit. There you go. And that means that uh, when I come out of uh, orbital cruise, it will appear right by me. So I'm now going to have to wait for it to appear. I'm fucking useless at combat when I've got the, uh, you know, when I'm fighting the gravity of a planet. There's just no sign of a fucker. Bollocks to him. Orbital flight engaged. Oh, I bet that's them. No. Okay. up after I come out of glide. Bad my luck, yes it will. Oh, dynamic speed mark, given a 4 kilo heavy, commencing automated 
Flight control routine. Please observe locking protocols. Access granted. Proceed to landing pad 05. That means right, armor is the only thing I've got. Oh, that's why that she'll do. Because the only other thing is uh, hull reinforcements. Now, I've already got heavy duty armor fitted. What does a grade 2 need? Oh, why does armor need articulation motors? Okay, so I'm doing alright for all of the necessary. Uh, um, micro resources, it's just the commodities I need, so reinforced mounting plates and articulation motors for the second. Forty-five nickel, that's from all that fucking uh, mining I was doing. Oh, so osmium is needed for this. I've only got one vanadium, so I've only got one shot with the uh, blast resistant. Lightweight armor. See, that would come in bloody handy, but uh, it means the whole boost goes down. It goes down every time. I'd rather have the uh, heavy duty armour, but my current heavy duty armour roll isn't a particularly good one. Well, I've got 31 carbon, so we'll do three of these and, uh, and see what, uh, what I can do after this. Well, mass has gone up quite a bit, but so has uh, kinetic resistance, which has now gone up even more. And the whole boost is certainly better than it was. So, fuck it, we'll apply that. And now we'll see what we get uh, on the next attempt. So the mass can certainly come down. The whole boost is likely to be reduced rather than increased, but there's still a chance, so... Well, okay, I didn't like that mass reduction, but I do like that hull boost. And the kinetic resistance has been improved yet more. Thermal resistance has just gone up again. 
and so is explosive resistance. That looks pretty fucking good to me, I'll have you. So this next uh, one, I'll probably not bother with it, I'll probably end up junking it. But it will get me to uh, grade 2 access. I do like that reduced mass. Only for only the loss of what? Just over four. Four point oh seven loss of hull boost. Fuck it. I'll mind you I do lose a lot of my bonus from uh, kinetic thermal and explosive resist <coughs> resistances. Discard that one. Right, so up to grade two. Okay, so I haven't got the right parts for any grade twos. Okay, so I need articulation motors. I only need three. And then at least nine reinforced mounting plates. <sighs> well, I've bought those before from that same system and it's nowhere fucking near here. Oh yeah, articulation motors are only available as a reward. You can't buy them. Okay, well, I'll pin that. So, I can't do the commodities or universal cartography, which is a fucking pain in the ass because I could have done with selling them here. But no, he won't let me. Right, well, there you go. Um, yeah, well, I'll be back when there is something to come back to, which will no doubt be tomorrow. Alright, now I wasn't planning on doing a video at this uh, current moment, but uh, something has uh, inspired me to do so. Um, I am in the uh, Leuton half second uh, 2931 system. And uh, I have a mission which I need to carry out in the Leuton's half second 2931 system, i.e. where I am. Now I was just testing something out here, so I saw this one which was to destroy one ship from the LHS 2925 Labour Union. And... Uh, So yeah, so I took it to try it out. Now it turns out that in this system I can't actually do what I was testing. So I went into a conflict zone and as you can see, I did indeed get the kill. One of one for this, uh, this mission. So I have effectively done this mission. But as you can see also, it hasn't updated it. And there is the combat bond that I got for destroying that one ship. I just chose an eagle. I mean, I'm in my Imperial Cutter. I'm not going to want to spend too long in a fucking conflict zone. But if we go to the mission board... Ah... Nowhere to hand in my uh, completed mission because, according to this, I have not completed it. Uh, 
Now if I do this one, it might reset it. And then count to, you know, the targets will count towards, uh, you know, these, this one that I've still got to do. But that's not the fucking point. The point is, it told me to take out one, which I did. And, uh, it's acted as if I haven't done anything. So, let's go back to the, uh, conflict zone. And what I suspect will be the case is that it won't come up mission target anymore. So although the mission is not um, No, it hasn't updated and it's acting as though I haven't finished it, when I clearly have. And I also think that it's going to uh, act in-game as though I've uh, finished the mission and the uh, mission targets are not going to show up, it's just going to come up as a regular enemy. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now this is not the same conflict zone that I went to in order to finish this uh, mission. I'm not exactly thrilled at the prospect of taking a uh, Imperial Cutter into a uh, high intensity conflict zone. Well, my defences are fine. But I use power at quite a rate when I'm uh, using my weapons. And of course the manoeuvrability of this thing is atrocious. So, yeah, I don't really fancy high, high intensity conflict zones in this thing. If I was in the Corvette, no problem, but I'm not. Now if this is the case, I first encountered this bug when I was beta testing 2.0. Or well, put it another way, beta testing the original Fucking hell, none of them are here. So this one's no fucking good to me. I have to take out two 925 Labour Union ships and neither of the fucking targets are them. So this place is no fucking good to me. That means I'm going to have to go all the way out to the same conflict zone that I went to before. Frameship drive charging. Engage. Just to be able to actually do this. Now this one I'm heading to I know for sure has the right targets because uh, this is the one that I was at when I uh, in quotes finished this mission. Now the only difference is that uh, before I started the mission, I got a message. Yeah, I've deleted them so they're not there anymore. Making a counter offer. And I ignore it. I ignored it. I didn't bother um, you know, accepting or declining it. And when I took out that one ship, the message I got was them saying that they've rescinded their alternative offer because I attacked and destroyed one of their ships. But I also should have got the message saying this mission that I'm doing is complete. But I didn't. Now 
Now if this, I say, if it is the case and I go there and it comes up that they are not uh, mission targets, then yeah, this bug has been here since uh, the time that the original um, Elite Dangerous Horizons was undergoing beta testing. And it would seem it's still there, nearly a year later. That's uh, what I have to say to that. Now I suspect some of you may say that I can use the exploit of uh, attacking um, skimmers that are belonging to this faction. Well that's what I went out here to test and it does seem to work except I couldn't find any skimmers belonging to that faction. All of the skimmers that I came across were belonging to the faction that I'm actually working for. I still shot a few down because uh, they were attacking me. I uh, scanned a data point in their uh, base and they didn't like it very much. It also appeared that skimmers now launch missiles. They were launching plenty of them and I was shooting them all down. Side. So, 2925 Labour Union is who I'm fighting, so we'll fight for 2931 Nationals. Now, let's see what we get here. Type 9. Under attack. It is coming up mission target. I got some new data. Well, you know me, I'm not going to say no to taking out a fucking Type 9. No way. So this is going to be uh, the target I do. Fucking effortless. That's him down. Now, will that update the mission? No. Target destroyed. Mission ah, at last. So now I can go back. So although it says take out two, or take out one, I have actually had to take out two. Why has it suddenly considered it necessary for me to take out double the amount that I was supposed to? Now I'm not sorry it worked this time. Well though clearly it's not working as it should. So anyway, we'll bugger off out of there. I'm happy that I've managed to destroy a Type 9. I keep on saying it, and I'm going to continue to keep on saying it. Never turn down the opportunity to destroy a Type 9, or a Type 7, or a Type 6, or a Killback. Fucking fag's gone out. So, uh, the conclusion then is if you get a counter offer to a mission that you have uh, accepted, you have to pretty much decide right on the spot if you're going to accept it or not. Because if you leave it, then the first kill, even though it registers here, showing them now. But even though it registered there as you saw it, I had destroyed one of one, it didn't actually register towards the mission. 
which is bollocks. I hate seeing uh, my energy banks not uh, at full capacity. Now this is only supposed to be like a short clip. So how many combat bombs have I got now? 40,000. So that uh, Type 9 was worth 32,000. Oh fucking hell, they haven't still got this. What is the fucking point of this supposed feature? Now the brown noses will say it's about realism. Well realism has to give way to being fun or being enjoyable. I was bloody close to uh, where I needed to go. You know, I was just over one light second away. I've now been dragged back to 19 again, supposedly for them to scan. They are not fucking scanning me. They're not doing a fucking thing. And all I have to do is start up the fucking super cruise again. Now what was the fucking point of that? And this has been in for a fucking long time, this feature. Right, no one likes it. All it is, is a fucking pain in the ass. So what the fucking hell was it doing, firstly, put in in the first place, and secondly, why is it still here? So, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to bother with that fucking uh, exploit because if you go to a system which is either at civil war or war, you get all those fucking interdictions for no reason whatsoever and all they do is piss you off. They don't do anything else, they don't serve any other purpose other than to piss you off. It's just fucking bullshit. Shut the fuck up. I can see how far away I am. Why the fuck does it have to tell you 2,000 metres from touchdown? Big time fucking stutter there. Landing gear deployed.
Refutation with LHS 2931 Nationals has been raised to cordial. Big fucking deal. See what else we have here. Probably not a lot. No, well, none of them's paying in the uh, commodities. Anyway, that'll do. Uh, that's enough of this fucking shit. Right, well, it's been a few days since I recorded those last uh, two clips. In fact, thinking about it, I think it's been as long as a week since uh, I did the first one. So, I'm currently in the uh, Nurses uh, system. I think. Yes. And I'm in uh, Muller Station. Uh, the reason I am here is because I was simply <coughs> wandering around trying to find uh, a particular material, actually a particular data. Um, this top one here a Baron uh, shield pattern analysis. It looks like I don't have very many of them. In fact, I had plenty. Um, and the nine I've got here now is more than enough for what I plan to do. But before that, let's uh, have a quick uh, look through the uh, stats so you can see where we are. The first thing you may notice is that my balance has plummeted. It's down to 227,188,154 and the reason for that is that I finally bought the uh, military bulkheads for the cutter which I'm in at the moment. So yeah that sent my balance down quite a bit. It also sent the rebuy cost of this ship up quite a bit. Uh, they are now at 31.4 million. So I really don't want to be losing this ship anytime soon. Anyway, uh, current assets are now back over 1.7 billion. Uh, in fact, they're close to 1 billion 705 million. So that will do. They are very close to being the highest they've ever been. Uh, the highest they've ever been, I think, was 714 million, so only another 10 million to go. Which sounds like a lot, but when you've got 1.7 billion, no, it isn't. Uh, credit spent on ships is at 1.3 billion. Credit spent on outfitting is at 7.4 billion. Uh, repairs are at 32, or nearly 32.2 million. Uh, on fuel 2.3 million, on munitions 1.9 million and still just the 11 insurance uh, claims costing a mere 110 million. Uh, and, uh, combat bounties claimed are at 7,771 um, giving me a profit of 216.8 million. Combat bonds are at 5,837, giving me a uh, profit of just over 124 million. Assassinations haven't actually changed for quite some time, and skimmers killed is at 157. Uh, in terms of crime, uh, fines issued is at 163, lifetime fines value is just over 4 million still. Bounties received is at 22, lifetime value of 11,245, and the highest bounty issued was 2,000. Uh, smuggling, that actually hasn't changed for ages because I haven't done any. Trading, uh, market network is now at the 266. Trading profit of uh, 925.1 million. 
commodities traded at 620,386. Average profit keeps going down, but I'm not really trying to uh, keep my average profit up anymore. It did reach 333,000, uh, so I got it up to a third of a million, and now I just don't care. So it's down to 321,681. And let's face it, that's still not exactly terrible. And uh, no surprise that the uh, high single transaction hasn't changed one bit. Mining, uh, I did do a bit more, uh, so profit from mining is now up to 16.2 million from uh, 1,390 materials refined. Uh, materials collected is at 2,415. Exploration uh, systems visited is now at the 10,196. So those extra 196 systems that I got uh, since passing the 10,000 uh, landmark um, have come along pretty quickly, largely thanks to me doing some more um, passenger missions. which I'll come to in a bit when that section appears in the stats. So, profits from exploration is at 236.5 million. Level 2 detail scans haven't changed. I've got the detailed surface scanner. Level 3s are at 170,124. Highest payout hasn't changed, no surprise. It's not going to. That's Sagittarius A-star. That's as high as it gets. Uh, total height and space distance is 321,607. Total height of space jumps of 17,229. Max distance from the start. Surprise, surprise, that hasn't changed either. Approximate time played is horrific. And SRV distance travelled is 1.73 megameters. Now we get on to the passengers. So as you can see, I have done uh, some more. So I've now done six. Uh, 7 explorers, uh, 12 medical, 11 businessmen, uh, and 11 total bulk passengers delivered. In fact, I'm pretty sure that bulk passengers is the 11 businessmen. That was just one mission. Uh, total VIPs delivered, 19. Total all-round all delivered is 30. And total ejected, 2, the, the 2 that I did when I first tried them. Now the thing that convinced me to try passenger missions was uh, there was one I found. Uh, they weren't going very far. There was two stops. And the furthest uh, system, the second stop, was only 250 light years away from where I was. I'm pretty sure I was in Alios at the time. And they paid 10.9 million for that, so I thought, fuck it, I'll do that. Uh, and yeah, it was fucking piss easy. And actually, I didn't mind doing it, so that's why I did a few more afterwards. So I don't mind passing the emissions. They, I mean, there's nothing new in them, but it gives me the chance to bump up my uh, system's visit count. Crafting, a uh, number of engineers used is now up to 11. A uh, number of upgrades generated is 221. Uh, grade 1s of 133. And then there's 15 grade 2s, 31 grade 3s, 28 grade 4s, and 14 grade 5s. Uh, crew, well I've got rid of my uh, uh, fighter which was in the Corvette, and sacked uh, the uh, crew that I had, because I find that the, the fighters are fucking useless, and all they are doing is eating away at my profit margins. So, I mean, I well, you can see, crew credits earned is at 3.3 million. Well, I could have done with that, rather than give it away to some fucking crew member who was doing fuck all of any use. So crew hired two, one was fired and one was killed. And CQ's the statistics, like anyone gives a fucking monkey's toss about those. Um, now as we're here, I'll show you the loadout that I've got on uh, the uh, cutter, because it has changed a bit. 
So, um, I did originally have in my class two hard points, the medium hard points, they were all um, class two pulse laser turrets, but they were just way too power hungry. Um, so I got rid of them and replaced them with these. So uh, I have uh, class two seeker missiles in uh, these two uh, hard points here. They have both been modded to grade three high capacity magazine. Actually, I think the second one I modded to uh, something else. Oh no, it was high, high capacity magazine still. Um, then I have two uh, grade two beam laser turrets in the upper ones. Uh, they have not been modded. Then I have uh, the grade three cannons in the uh, two large high points. They have been modded. Uh, this one, well you can see damage per second and damage overall have not been improved by very much at all. Um, and yet the uh, increased distributor load is enormous. But I do have the uh, experimental module, uh, the uh, dispersal field, uh, which confuses the uh, gimbal and turret uh, hard points on the target. Um, being only grade one, it doesn't actually do a great deal, but uh, hopefully I will soon be able to change that. Uh, I'll come to that in a moment because that's the whole point of this uh, particular clip. The second uh, one, uh, damage per second and damage have been improved a lot more and the integrity also went up. But the distributor draw has gone up even more, which I didn't like. Um, the shot speed was reduced quite a bit, but then it's not exactly fast to begin with. But it has the force shell mod, which I particularly wanted. I didn't cash in any favours for this one. Although I have cashed in a favour with uh, another engineer. Uh, for, actually I'll come to that in a minute. So, um, yeah, this one has the modification which allows uh, firing of low explosive shell designed to generate propelling blasts. So in other words, it knocks the ship out of line, like a lot of uh, shots used to do back in the uh, beta, which I liked. So, but again, it's only a grade one, so it doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot. And finally, the multi-cannon. This one I uh, was uh, overcharged again, only a grade one. I didn't have the uh, materials to uh, do any more than grade one, otherwise I would have done far more. So, um, yeah, this isn't actually the uh, uh, experimental thing I wanted. It uh, amplifies its signature the, of the enemy ship. <laughs> Big deal. Um, it must, yeah, it was uh, an experimental module on one of my uh, pulse laser turrets, which I since got rid of. And uh, I did 35 fucking attempts before I finally got an experimental. And then when it came up, it was a crap one, so I used one of my favours anyway. Um, if you get an experimental but want to change it for a different one, that only uses up one rank uh, for a favour. If you don't get any experimentals at all but want to put one on there, that will use up two ranks uh, of uh, favours. So yeah, I waited until I had uh, at least one uh, experimental thing. Anyway, so with this one, damage per second has gone up quite nicely. Overall damage, yeah, well, it's an increase, but not by a whole hell of a lot. Uh, with the utility mounts, uh, the only things that are uh, modded are the shield boosters. They are, well, two of them are heavy duty uh, shield booster at grade three, and two of them are uh, resistance augmented shield boost, uh, booster they're also grade 3 so but that's that's all I've done as far as uh, the utilities 
for the core internals, and you see I've got the uh, military grade composite, I can't show you here because uh, it's going to say there's nothing in the shop. Except of course I don't have to do that. So there you go, so that has the grade 5 heavy duty armour, which is uh, quite nice. Unfortunately the mass went up enormously from 60 tonnes to 83.18 tonnes, but... Oh well. Power plant is at grade 4, which is the best I can do it at the moment, so that's giving me just over 48 uh, megawatts, which is fine. I'm still using a fair bit of it, but... Uh, oh well, why get it if you're not going to use it? The thrusters uh, is clean drive tuning it to uh, grade 3. Uh, frame shift drive, no surprise, it's uh, increased range grade 5. Um, didn't exactly get a fantastic roll with uh, that. Maybe if I can be asked one time, I'll uh, see if I can get a better one. Uh, power distributor, that has a grade 5 uh, high charge capacity uh, power distributor. Um, which means this ship actually has more grade 5 uh, mods than the uh, Corvette. The Corvette doesn't have this. But... Uh, the Corvette has a grade 4, which is still plenty. But even with the grade 5, uh, having four pulse laser turrets was far too much of a drain, so I, I had to get rid of the turrets, basically. Uh, it turns out that I actually... It was a good idea, but uh, I'll explain that again in a bit. As far as, as, far as the optional internals, so the... Uh, a8 uh, shield generator has a grade 4 uh, reinforced shields. So with that, plus all of my uh, shield boosters being at grade 3s, yeah, the shields on this thing aren't too bad at all. Uh, we have the cargo, rank, uh, cargo rack, uh, 6A fuel scoop. I need to change these 6B uh, shield cell banks. I want the uh, 6As but i got to find them in the uh, Li Yongri uh, space. Then my two uh, first class uh, passenger cabins, detailed surface scanner, planetary hangar, advanced discovery scanner. None of those have been modded, not sure how many of them can be. I know the fuel scoop can, but it's not worth it. And uh, the shield cell banks can be, but again, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I do have some uh, stored uh, modules, all of my uh, mining gear basically, two mining lasers, uh, 3C uh, Prospector Olympic Controller, 3C and 5D control, uh, Collector Olympic Controller and the 4A Refinery. They were all bought in the Yong Ri space, so that's the cheapest they can be, so fuck it, I'll leave them there. Right, now, finally we'll go through uh, the engineers that I've got, because these have changed a bit. So, uh, Marco Quent, The Dweller, Li Chung, Celine Jean, uh, Felicity Farcia and Liz Ryder are all up to grade fives. Uh, so, Todd the Blast of a Queen was at grade five, but that's who I got the favour from, so he's now dropped down to grade four, along with uh, Elvira Martuk and Yuri Ishmark. Uh, Laurie Jameson and Didi uh, Vaterman are at grade 2. And I've got uh, invites from all these others. So Professor Palin who's out in uh, Maya. Colonel Briss Decker who's the one that's in Seoul. She wants 10 million credits worth of combat bonds. <laughs> well, it gives me a reason to go into conflict zones. So I suppose it's uh, worth doing. Uh, Ram Tar, he wants uh, yeah 50 uh, classified scan data banks. So I've given him 16 so far. I'll, I dare say I'll finish that at some point. Uh, Hira Tani, she's the one who wants the 50 units of Kamitra cigars, which are nowhere fucking near Kuamaki, so she can fucking wait. And Zachary Nemo, I finally uh, unlocked him. Uh, he had been on my list for quite some time, actually, but, uh... 
Yeah, but I just never got round to uh, getting myself on friendly terms in the uh, Yoru system. But yeah, I finally did that. Uh, he wants 25 units of Zaihi Biomorphic Companions, which to me sounds like the Elite Dangerous equivalent of blow-up dolls, but apparently they are robotic pets. Oh, anyway, so he's got 10 of them. I might, I'll do the other 15 when I can be asked. Uh, the Sarge, who is in Beta 3 Tukani, uh, uh, he is the one who wants 50 units of the Aberrant uh, Shield uh, Pattern Analysis. So I've given him 45 of them, I just need to give him another 5, and as you've seen I've got 9, that's where I'm heading to next. And finally, old Bill Turner, he's in Alios, uh, he wants 50 units of Bromolite. I can't remember where you mine Bromolite from, if it's uh, uh, rocky uh, ring systems or if it's icy. I suspect it's icy, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, that's enough of that fucking verbal diarrhea. Let's piss off and head to... Uh, um, What's his name? Fucking uh, the Sarge. Uh, if you are not used to doing canyon runs, which I certainly am not, the approach to his uh, uh, actual base can be a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, Anyway, we will take off and you'll see Landing what I mean engaged. when we get there. Landing coupler disengaged. You may proceed when ready. Okay, so he hasn't got any uh, data. Frameship charge detected. So, first stop is Speed restrictions lifted. Safe travel, Commander. Is Ziala. Frameship drive charging. Wasn't that a character in uh, Deep Space Nine? Now before all of the Trekkie nerds jump in, yes I know it was Zial. Yes I two, know that uh, Zial was a she. Yes I know she was the daughter of Gold to Cut. Yes I know she was killed by uh, Damar. Yes, I know she had a thing for Garak, so yeah, I am nerdy enough to know all of that shit. If I've left anything out, I don't care. Right, and then Beta 3 Tukani is next stop. This uh, engineer, the Sarge, uh, he will upgrade cannons, which is more than handy. I'll certainly uh, be taking a look at that. But he also upgrades limpets, and it looks like he upgrade. Well, it looks like he specialises in limpets. So whether or not he upgrades them to grade five or just four, I don't know. But I'm interested to see what he does to Limpets, because, well, as you've seen, I do have the Limpet controllers. It is actually the controllers he mods, not the Limpets themselves. So, yeah, I'm quite uh, interested to see what he'll do with those.
annoyingly he's uh, another one of these uh, engineers who is on an extremely small uh, well it's more like a planetoid than an actual planet it's a moon of a moon that is uh, orbiting a uh, gas giant and yeah I think it is the smallest uh, space body I have landed on to date Now the idea that I had when I first started playing this thing again uh, is still very much on course but I am now having to play the waiting game of it. But uh, yeah, it's still going ahead as, uh, as planned. Obviously I will do a video of it but uh, when that will happen, well, depends on when the opportunity uh, to put my plan into action uh, comes along. all here. Those fucking tiny little asteroid clusters shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't generate enough of a gravitational field to have any effect. decided to call his uh, base the beach. Certainly wouldn't fancy going to any beaches that look like this place. But basically he's at the bottom of a rather deep canyon. probably be on the dark side this time and you won't be able to see it very well. Okay, it's not. I need to cut the speed quite a bit. Maybe not quite that much. You can see the canyon now. So now see just how small this fucking orbital flight moon is. There's this extremely tall tower that uh, stands up from there, but the. Uh, um, landing pads are not in the most accessible of places. Nice seamless transition, huge amount of stuttering when you first approach. That happened last time as well, and I wasn't recording then, so not a uh, result of uh, 
shadow play interfering with the game. So there is his uh, base. And that's where Delta I have to Lima. land. Uniform, Kilo, Heavy, Flight Control, Online. Welcome, Commander. Request docking permission if you wish to land. And this is the same landing pad I had to land at last time. But I was coming in from the other side last time. As you can see, I'm approaching it from the wrong way, but because of that huge great, uh, I don't know if it's a gangway or what, I've basically got to get pretty close and then spin round. I can't approach it any other way. dare say there are more graceful ways of uh, entering the base than this, but uh, planetary landings are not my forte, so uh, this is as good as I'm going to do. Fucking like stutter like that does not help. Very low gravity here, only 0.04, so you know, when you actually finally uh, going down like that, you're not really any risk, you're not going to hit the pad too hard. Landing operation complete. Commence system shutdown. Welcome, Commander. Right, so um, I don't think I need any. No, that's fine. So we'll donate the five that he needs. There we go. Oh, he'll do cannons right up to grade five. Nice. So uh, he does collection limpets, does rail guns to grade three, field transfer limpets, prospecting limpets, and hatchbreaker limpets. Well, let's check out the uh, collection ones because lightweight. Reduces mass. That could be okay if I remembered how much the uh, mass was. Are oh, you fucking cunt? All those fucking uh, stuttering seem to be uh, sending the thing fucking mad. Right, let's try this again. I still get plenty of fucking disconnections. Alright. Well, it's saying I've landed okay, but uh, what about... this? Okay, right, so it's working all right. Anyway, so let's try it again then. So we also have miscellaneous reinforced and miscellaneous shielded. I don't need uh, shielded or reinforced really. So lightweight is it. Okay, so what about the prospecting? I suspect this is going to be the same. Yeah, lightweight, reinforced, shielded. So that's what he does then. You can have either lightweight, reinforced or shielded uh, limpets. Except it's limpet controllers. You know, because I don't think it's affecting the limpets themselves. Yeah, surely that's it. Yeah, reduces the module mass at the expense of reducing integrity. So yeah, it is just that. Oh. 
Oops. There we go. Right. Let's see what he can do. Now, obviously, the overcharge is the one that I'm interested in. Surely he can do a better job of the overcharge of this thing than uh, the one I've already got. Trouble is, I've also already got pretty good... Um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, experimentals. Oh, well, I'm, uh, I can always fucking just discard them. Uh, and if I get the three, that means I'll unlock grades, uh, you know, get do three attempts of this and I'll unlock grades two and, and so on. Damage per second and overall damage have gone up quite nicely, but the distributor draw is fucking horrible. The thermal load is not great either. Oh, what a surprise. No. Alright. Well, let's try this one. So damage per second and damage can't be improved by very much, but fucking distributed draw certainly can. And so can the jitter, in fact the jitter can't fail but be improved. Let's have a look what uh, we get. Alright, damage is shit, distributed draw is improved, but by such a tiny amount it's not fucking worth it. Okay. Now it's been improved a bit more. It's still not really worth it. It's been improved by 0.11. Cool. Yeah, that looks about right as far as the fucking experimental goes. I'll just show you, right, these are all the experimentals you can get. So the auto loader, which is the same as uh, I've got on the um, multi-cannons on my uh, Corvette. That's quite handy on the Corvette, but, uh, or, you know, for the multi-cannons, but for cannons, I don't really see the point. Smart rounds, they will self-destruct rather than hit a friendly. Force shell, uh, that's the thing I've got where it will uh, force the ships off course. Uh, high yield shell, uh, modified munition that convert a portion of damage to explosive capable hitting multiple internal modules. That's not bad. That's worth having. Dispersal field is the other one I've already got with the... Uh, uh, yeah, confuses all the targets and then the thermal cascade which I've got on um, my multi-cannon. Oh, actually, no it isn't at all. Generate significant heat on target if I hit the shields. Hmm, that could be handy. Uh, anyway, uh, clearly the uh, second cannon I've got is not the one that I really want to change. So let's have another stab at uh, doing the uh, first one. Well, it's going to be an improvement on everything except distributor draw. No, it stops just before it again, like it always does. You see, that uh, worst distributor draw isn't terrible, it's only gone up by 0 0.05. And the amount of damage I'm doing has gone up, so even though I lose the experimental, I'll have that. No, it's only dispersal field. Well, I'm not too worried about uh, losing that one, so there we go. Right, so we've got up to grade 2. Let's see what... Uh, Oh, fuck it. I need prosodymium. That means more mining. Um, and I need polymer capacitors for grade 4 and modified embedded firmware for grade 5. That can be a pain in the ass to find. Yeah, that's from bloody data points. Uh, I hate trying to scan for those, I always get blown shitless after I got it. Um, 
polymer capacitors. I know I've had plenty of them in the past. Uh, used by minute. Okay, so I go to conflict zones to find them. The commodity articulation motors for grade three and four. Reinforced mounting plates for grade five. And do I need nickel for all of them? No. Well, as long as I have enough for uh, three of those, leave me with ten nickel. Three of those. Yeah, I'm going to be running low on conductive components then. Uh, but I don't need them for any of them more. Alright, well, I'll pin that one. Looks like I need to go and do some mining for some prosodymium. I've mined a fair bit of it already, but uh, I don't think I've got any universal cartography data to go. No, I don't think I have any uh, of those either. So that's all I can do here. Well, there you go. So that's that's what the Sarge is all about. Um, and also more fucking annoying disconnections, as well as the uh, stupid... Uh, mission glitch that I showed in the uh, previous clip so I guess it's just business as usual with fucking frontier developments uh, that's enough then for this so uh, go away I swear, if my Hogwarts letter got delivered today, I'd march to Hogwarts as a fully grown adult and happily take seven more years of school. So this person is a fully grown adult, but they read Harry Potter. Clearly they read it extremely avidly. And this fully grown adult is writing this fucking bollocks as if it's real. I mean, if a kid wrote this, you could sort of understand it because their imagination is running away with them. Yeah, they haven't been to fucking secondary school or high school or whatever you want to fucking call it and had their imagination educated out of them which is basically all high school does no this is a fully grown adult and he is saying if my hogwarts letter got delivered today i'd march to hogwarts as a fully fully grown and that's the bit that fucking gets it, fully grown adult and happily take seven more years of school. I bet the cunt who wrote this has got a fucking, like, you know, some fucking stupid stick that he's taken off a tree and he's made it into his wand and he's probably got a broomstick that he's called the whatever the fucking hell the thing's called, a broomstick, and probably plays Quidditch in his fucking back garden because he's a sad cunt. <sighs> It amazes me the number of fucking fully grown adults, as is said here, who, I mean, who actually read it. It's a fucking series of children's books. And I get plenty of people asking me, oh, have you read Harry Potter? No, because I'm a fucking 44-year-old man. Oh, have you read uh, the Harry Potter books? They're great. No, I fucking haven't. But I have read the complete published works of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. So fuck off. <laughs>